Hi everybody, uh, in the last two videos uh, we talked about body plots and how you use body plots in order to make an assessment of a power supply's stability and then we made a measurement uh, and we showed how you'd actually look at the real measurement. However, what we haven't discussed until now has been how do you actually physically make the measurement. So, in this short video we're going to talk about how you make the measurement, how you connect the measurement equipment in order to have the, uh, the open loop uh, frequency response and then later on in other videos we're also going to talk about how you make the measurements of the plant and the compensator. So here I have drawn a picture of what the system is going to actually look like. So we have got an input voltage, we have got a power stage, we've got our plant and we've got an output voltage then that typically goes through some compensation in analog uh, in digital power supply, that will mean the code, but in fact the measurement strategy will be exactly the same. And here I have got an analog controller, inside of which I've got an op amp and I've got a comparator that generates the PWM and the PWM controls the plant and I have got a closed loop system. So, in order to be able to measure the loop, what I need to do, as we discussed earlier, is to inject a little signal into my entire, my overall system. So, what I will have to do is insert a tiny little injection resistor. Let's call this R inj. And then I need to inject a signal across this. For that, I use a Bode 100 vector network analyzer, which will automatically inject the signal, look at what sine waves are going in and coming back, and automatically plot the Bode plot. However, I cannot just connect this directly into that because this is not with reference to ground so I need an injection transformer which I will show you later on in real life so I connect the injection transformer to point B here and point A then the output of the body gets connected to the injection transformer and of course injection transformer to ground this is in fact one cable so now I am differentially injecting a sinusoid across this. It's important to note that you should the location of where you put this injection, trans, uh, injection resistor matters and you should put it somewhere that does not interfere with the overall system. This is relatively small, R1 is usually relatively very big and for a, for a voltage controlled power supply output voltage the output port has got very, very low impedance, therefore this should not mess up my overall measurement. Now then, if I put the channel 2 of my body at this point here with a probe, this is connected to an oscilloscope probe, and I put the channel 1 at this point here, let's see what happens when we start injecting a signal and measuring. The signal is going to go down here through the compensator all the way through the plant and gets picked up here. So I'm going to measure the entire loop and that therefore I'm going to get the open loop response. So we're going to go and have a look at the real hardware. I'm going to show you what we have got. So again, this is the power stage that we typically use in our workshops. Here is the analog controller. Here I have got the injection resistor. It's a surface mount in uh, a small resistor, uh, so it's a little bit hard to see. But you can see from Bode, this is the output. This is the injection transformer. It's a B-wit uh, injection transformer with a one-to-one -one turns ratio. The output of the injection transformer is connected across, differentially across my injection resistor. And then I have got two channels, channel one and channel two, and I have placed, connected them across the injection resistor exactly as I have shown on this diagram. And I'm going to measure the entire loop. So if you go on the computer and we look at the measurement, there you actually saw this picture on the, in the previous video. You can see that I have got a very nice loop response. We have discussed what this means now. So you can look at the phase margin, the gain margin, uh, the crossover frequency, the slope. Um, and we have completed our loop measurement with this particular setup. And uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about how you're going to measure the power stage and the, uh, um, the compensation. Thank you very much for listening. Hopefully you'll watch the next one. Cheers.